morning. Today, I will start again my blog. And this time, compared to my old blogs, which I started during the pandemic time, I decided to change uh, my description and my content. Um, I will be introducing myself as a widow uh, who is starting life in America. Well, not really starting. I've started already. I migrated here during the time of the pandemic. And... Um, that was also the time, at the start of the pandemic, that I lost my husband, my beloved husband, very sudden. No warning, no symptoms. He didn't die of COVID, but instead he died of uh, uh, something to do with the liver, which I I don't I don't know if my husband just kept it from us. But there was really no visible sim symptoms at the time. So we were very surprised that it was there and everybody was speculating that maybe he kept it from us. Maybe he didn't want to bother us. But of course, you know, one thing I can tell you. My husband is a good man. He has his flaws. But uh, he is more, more of a, a man of a uh, few words, very unassuming, very down to earth. And uh, we were a match made in heaven. Why? Because, you know, as you can see, only people, only people, with a certain kind of personality can do blogs not everyone can do it because you are exposing your life to people you're exposing your your flaws your personality and everything but uh, you know uh, I am one person that is very uh, eager to share my experience with the hope that uh, these people might be able to Pick up something from me because I'm that kind of person that always listens. I am very keen on listening to people's experience in life because I try to I try to adapt, I try to follow where they made good and uh, try to learn from their experience, bad, good, because I always tell my children, you know, Whatever experience you have in life, whether good or bad, you should take a lesson from that. So that's how I run my life from the start. Well, I probably owe it to my father, my, my parents, who brought me up that way. Uh, we're not really uh, the rich, rich kind of uh, family in the Philippines. But uh, my parents, especially my dad, I always described him as a, a, a man uh, with a, with a, who ran his life based on good moral ethics in terms of business. My dad, from the start, has a good, very, um, very... Um, uh, uh, what do you call this? What is the right uh, description of my dad in terms of running our business? We were engaged in our uh, rice and corn meal during the 70s, 80s, late 90s until the time that we until the time that we stopped our uh, rice milling operation because it was in the center of the town and. Uh, it so happened too that uh, there was a, it was a blessing in disguise because that was the time that uh, our town was uh, was uh, 
uh, initiating the zoning. So since the property is in the middle of the, the town, uh, it is already considered a residential. So our property, which is almost two hectares in, in area in the middle of the town, um, they had to shut down the rice mill. But we did not shut down because of the zoning, which the, the, the business was shut down because my father found a, an, alternative, an alternative business that is uh, earning more money, less labor intensive, and that um, money was quick at that time. Quick in a good way, not in a bad way. We, we, we my dad always earn uh, our business, uh, earn his, uh, his income based on integrity and, uh, you know, not, uh, that's how, that's, that's one thing that I learned about the, uh, about running a business. You know, I also have a business. Um, I'm into um, real, real estate properties that I inherited from my, my dad. It, I have turned it into a passive income. Passive income. That's the best um, thing that you should do in life. Uh, to, to work on getting uh, a business that is passive, where you don't need to work, but money comes in during your retirement age. So, well, as you can see, I am in the U.S., but I have a, a, re a little passive income in the Philippines where I always tell my friends, enough to buy me food. And in, the, in America, enough for me to go shopping to Walmart, buy food without depending on my daughter. Well... My daughter here in the U.S. is a pharmacist. You know pharmacists here in the U.S.? Modest, modest, more than modest income. Okay. Uh, just to give you a little, a little of everything about me. Um, uh, I am a very proud mother of three. So... You will in my blogs. You will always hear me mentioning about my my children, about my grandson, my future grandson, because that was how my dad brought us up. Um, I think his uh, greatest achievement was making sure that we are his children. Um, he was able to secure uh, our future. Everything. All of us, all of his children, we all have our own passive income. Because why? Because of my, my dad. He worked on that. Though there was a little uh, conflict after we, we were uh, dividing, after my dad was dividing the property. Well, the good thing there is he was able to hand, uh, hand, um, uh, turned over the properties. It was not equally divided because he can't. He, that was what he was uh, telling us. I cannot give you uh, an exact uh, value of its property that uh, I will give you, but I will uh, give it to you based on where you are, your condition, and uh, how you will need it. So, um, but in the end, it was before he died. Everything was turned over to us, named to us. Yeah, the properties were named to us to the best of uh, how he divided it. But, uh, you know, there was still a conflict. Why? Some people think that uh, it was not divided properly. Someone uh, influenced my dad. And someone, uh, well, personally... I can proudly say that uh, during the time that uh, my dad was uh, was in his uh, 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 sick in his bed, and I know that uh, uh, physically he cannot do it himself, and I know that uh, he wants his his dream is for to turn over all those property to us uh, uh, before he goes, and that was what I was telling him that uh, at least try to settle everything uh, whatever our uh, requests 
uh, who will get uh, which property. Uh, listen to it and uh, decide on your own. Anyway, we're just receiving it. It's his call to to give whatever he thinks is uh, right, like uh, the ancestral, who will get the ancestral, um, those things. But uh, just the same, just like most of families fighting over um, properties, may displeasure pa rin. Nakakalungkot, ano? Because, uh, you know, come to think of it, ang tatay ko, he worked hard. He worked hard for us because he wanted us to have something to start with. And then, uh, was my husband, who is a simple man, they, they, don't, they don't have much, uh, much uh, property uh, from their parents, but they were decent, decent family. Very decent family, my the family of my husband. Simple, but sabi na nga nila, mabuti na lang, may pinagawa yan, or sometimes may advantage din ang, ang, ang walang iti-turnover. <laughs> pareho, parehong ano, pero uh, as I was, I'm trying to observe from uh, my townmates, Ma maliit, ma malaki pinag-aawayan talaga ng pamipamilya. Ay nako, pero nakakalungkot na alam mo kung ano ang sinasabi ng daddy ko sa akin noon. Si, okay. Isang bagay na hindi ko ikinahihiya uh, sa pagiging immigrant ko dito sa America. Well, just for everybody to know. Second year ko na ako kasi nag-umpisa ako since pandemic. Pagkamatay ng asawa ko, inayos ko ang papeles ko. That was what I was doing when I was holed up in the house uh, due to, uh, to lockdown. Inayos ko yung papeles ko. Thinking na, in anticipation of one day, I will be on my own. And uh, people, while you are in the US, people will always think na, Hey, yung babaeng yan, naghahanap yan ng mapapangasawa o para, para mamigrate siya. That I don't want to to experience. Ayoko yung nadidiscriminate ako dahil ang mga lalaki. They always think, kaya mo sila gustong maging kaibigan, ay dahil naghahanap ka ng, ng tao na magagamit para magkaroon ka ng papel. Luckily, with God's uh, blessing, uh, meron pa akong opportunity to do it because my my daughter was born here in the U.S. So, she's a pharmacist. So, so much for that. Slowly, you will learn uh, my life. I, I don't intend to really open up my life to everyone, but, uh, but, uh, oh, I got a message from my friend who is going to pick me up somewhere because, you know, I just came back two weeks ago from the Philippines. And, alam mo, in the past uh, times that I was here six months ago, I came home because the wedding of my daughter, the pharmacist here. I had to go home because we had to prepare for the wedding. I got stuck up. I had to do a lot of things in regards to my property. So, I I spent time in in the in the ano in the senior senior area, so I will I will I will continue my blog tomorrow. Bye bye for now. I will call people my my group. Um, ano kay maganda no? Kabuds, kabuds, di ba maganda? Kasama ko mga buda. <laughs> my children will frown on me doing blog, but I believe I can share my experience. Marami ako experience dito na realization. I don't know if it's, you can validate it as real or uh, ako lang ang makaka-validate na from experience. Ito palang buhay sa Amerika na mga bagong salta. At saka yung mga nag pumunta dito. So, I can teach you the right path. You know, what what to expect when you are in in the in America. Anyway, babushka!